What's up everybody, Ramey here, and what we are reviewing today is the Hot Pro or Ho Pro, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, generic Amazon brand, Walmart brand, um, change plates. So I got the Ho Pro change plates um, on Amazon. These were, so I did an extensive search for the absolute cheapest change plates that you could buy. Um, that were 100% rubber, so no metal insert. Um, you can see other change plates that have a metal. These are some York change, 10 pound change plates. You can see a metal insert here. I purposely wanted rubber change plates with no insert, and I found these Hot Pros. They were the absolute 100% cheapest ones I could get. Um, they were about. I saved around $25 from buying them from Titan, which I also have Titan change plates in one and a half. Um, so what I want to do is I want to kind of review these. I've been using them for a week now, but I'm pretty sure that's enough um, for me to talk about them. I usually like to use equipment for a couple weeks, a couple months before I review it, but I think these are just change plates. I kind of have used them now for the last week. I get, I get the idea of how they work, what they're like, um, and what's happening to them, what I feel, what I think about them um, compared to the Titan ones and compared to metal plates. So first of all, the reason you buy, so if someone's curious, like why bother spending money? You know, these were, I think these were 33, 34 bucks for the five pounders and the Two and a half pounds were like $20 each on Amazon. Um, why would I buy these? Why bother? Why not just get regular metal plates that are a dollar a pound? Um, you know, like these five pound generic plates that were a dollar a pound. These are spray painted, that's why they're blue. Um, why get these? So first of all, the reason you get change plates is because when you're lifting, um, and let's say I have 245s, a 45 on the bar, like 135 pounds on the bar, and I want to add 10 pounds. I don't want to have to take the collars off because that's kind of like a pain. I can just, with change plates, the idea is I just slide these on the bar, and because they're rubber, because it's rubber right here, they're going to stick and not move around while I'm lifting. So I don't have to worry about changing the collars just for five, two and a half or one and a half pound plates. So that's why I prefer them. The other reason I like them, there are two other reasons I like rubber change plates or change plates in general. The second reason is they do not scratch your barbell. Um, these will 100% just put some nicks and they're not very kind to your sleeves on your barbell. This is all metal. Um, you either need a nice, smooth, insert change plate or you need rubber so they don't damage the barbell sleeve. The other reason that you use a change plate is that it reduces noise versus the just putting them on and off and dropping at all um, reduces noise significantly especially with the rubber. Okay so that's change that's why you even get change plates and I should just do a video on change plates why you get them in general but let's talk about these Hot Pro or Ho Pro. Hot Pro Ho Pro. I don't know terrible pronouncing things. Let's talk about these things in general. So how do they feel? What are they like? All right, so one of the first things that I did is I weighed them to see how accurate they are. That's super important with change plates. That's one of the reasons you're paying so much money um, is that you hope that they're pretty accurate. So the two and a halfs were each uh, two pounds, eight ounces. So two and a half pounds, exactly. Uh, one of them was like 2.8 or 2.82 ounces or something like that so um, but very accurate two and a half and both of the fives were exactly five pounds which is kind of cool so accuracy check they actually weigh what they're supposed to now let's talk about the material so I do have Titan change plates the Titan change plates now I should there's a caveat here and that is that I don't have two and a half or five pound Titan change plates. I only have one and a half. So I can't say how they compare the two and a half compared to the two and a half. But what I can say is that Titan change plates feel very rubbery. And I can even like, there's a little like circle here and I can push this in because it's so rubbery, um, which I love. These are like my favorite. I love the feel of these things. 
um, of the Titan change plates. And I thought that the Ho Pro would feel exactly the same. I just kind of, it's literally the exact same design um, to a T. So they're all just probably made in the same factory kind of thing. Um, but the Ho Pro plates, the rubber is harder. Um, it almost feels like a hard, I don't know if it's a hard rubber, if it's just harder rubber, it's like a plastic. I'm not exactly sure, I'm not an expert in rubber material, but the rubber is definitely not as soft as the Titan. It's, it's, it's harder. Um, now, the big question is, does that matter? I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't think it matters at all. I don't know that it's going to make any kind of difference. Um, I put them on and off. I have, you can see right here, I've got three rogue barbells, a uh, safety squat bar, and a uh, axle bar. That's a Titan axle bar, Titan safety squat, three rogue barbells, rogue deadlift, Ohio power bar, Ohio bar. Um, went on perfectly. I didn't notice any, some, one, some complaints I see with change plates is they leave like the color on the barbell and especially with rogue rib sleeves. Nothing. They fit perfectly um, and there's no, uh, no residue left over. So I don't know, the harder plastic thing, I don't think it's going to make any difference. One thing I did notice is like when I scratch, you can see what I just scratched right there. It makes like a white, white like line, which does actually rub off. So I imagine it kind of rubs off, I guess. Not perfect, but kind of rubs off. I'd imagine after a while, these are gonna look pretty scuffed. Um, but that's, I've seen that exact same thing, like with the five pound Titan change plates, same exact review. People say it scuffs when you scratch it, it turns white. So, and I've also seen like old Alico or old Rogue change plates that are like all scuffed up and stuff too. So. I don't think it's something unique to these, and that's just expected, like when you're using plates, they get a little scuffed. So, I mean, you can see these Titan ones, how dirty they are after, you know, two years, three years of use. They're, they're pretty scuffed and dirty anyway. Um, so, those are kind of my thoughts. Um, I, they fit really well, they weigh what they're supposed to. These were the absolute cheapest change plates I could find. Um, do I think it was worth saving the money over like the Titan? I only saved 20 bucks by buying these versus the Titan. Was it worth saving the money? Um, man, 20 bucks when you're buying two and a half and five pound, 20 bucks is nothing. But when I'm talking about two and a half pound plates that I wish were only like a dollar a pound, it starts to add up. And it's kind of annoying. Um, if you don't care about what the brand says, like I just wanted color, rubber, change plates, that's it. So am I happy with these? Yes. Do I care they're not a better brand? I don't think it matters for change plates. I really could care less. Um, so I am happy with the purchase of them. Um, I don't really think it's worth spending a lot of money on change plates um, for different brands, especially if you can get cheap ones that weigh what they're supposed to, fit the bars and fill the bill. Um, do I think these are gonna like break down in six months? Um, I don't really think anything's gonna change. I think they're gonna look scuffed up but that's one of the reasons I did this review so early, only having them a week, is that there's nothing to break on these. Like, it's a plate. Like, is the plastic or hard rubber gonna split? I mean, I don't know. If I did do that, I'll tell you guys. I'll put a note in the video or something like that, but I can't really see that happening. I mean, it's literally the 100% same design to a T that the Titan and all the other generic change plates have. So you can see it's on, the labeling is on both sides of the plate um, kind of thing. So yeah, I mean, so far I'm pretty happy with them. They're kind of cool. They came right away. I mean, I ordered them from Amazon, so what do you got to lose? And you got prime shipping, which means they're coming in, you know, two, three, four days or whatever. Amazon changes it around depending on where you live. Um, so I am happy with the Ho Pro or Ha Pro, whatever you want to call it, change plates. Um, I would recommend if you're trying to buy like any of these plastic change plates on Amazon, check out the reviews. A few of the other brands, I saw people say like they didn't fit their barbell. So that was 100% my biggest concern with these was that they weren't going to fit. Um, but there were no issues on my barbells whatsoever. They fit perfectly actually. Um, 
They're not too tight getting on, not too tight getting off. They're not moving when I do like deadlift, bench, or squat, which I did all this week. Um, so I didn't have any issues with them. And uh, I would recommend looking around because one of the things I noticed with these Hopros and, and the other brands like Everyday Mate and whatever all those generic brands are on Amazon is that there'd be like four listings for the Hopros. So I found multiple listings of these two and a half and five pound plates, but some of them were expensive, like 10 or $20 more money, almost more money than the Titan or the Rogue ones. And I was like, what the heck? I'm not buying that. I'm not spending more money on generic ones. Um, but I did find one seller. I found one listing that was actually significantly cheaper. As I said, these were like 20 bucks. The other ones were like 33 versus the, I, I think the Titan colored ones of these are like 20, I want to say 29. I'm kind of guessing that. Um, and these are 45. So I ended up saving like 20 some dollars, which was nice. Um, and also when I order from Amazon, I get 5% cash back using their credit card and being a prime member and stuff. So I saved 5% off that. So not a bad deal for some change plates. Um, not bad at all. I spent under $60. I think it was like 50 some dollars for the with total with tax and everything. So not bad for a set of change plates. It's about what you expect. Um, so anyway, uh, I'd love to know if you have any generic change plates, what brand, what brand you have, how they fit your barbells, and how they're holding up after a while. And if you have regular change plates from a company like Rogue, Titan, um, Alico, I'm talking about the ones, the change plates without the metal inserts, because like Rep and other companies have the metal insert ones. And for those of you that have just full rubber ones, how do your generic ones feel compared to it? Because I definitely do notice a difference in the material between these two. This is harder. I'm just curious if the Titan and other companies like, maybe the Titan two and a half and five pounds have to use this harder rubber too. I don't know that. Maybe they do because it's like a bigger plate or something like that. I'm, I'm kind of making up, I got some theories going on about what is going on there. But uh, yeah, so let me know how they work. Later everybody.